Crazy Fly Nanocopter Quad Test. With this quadcopter, it's a very small video camera system I've been putting on it. And I've taken it to events such as PAX here, you can see, and it's worked well, except it's had some problems with the video signal when it's running under full power. This is a short set of videos to show you what it looks like. So this is running off the internal battery. You can see it gets some obvious artifacts there when it's working. And that's off, I think, 4, four volts. Now this is what it looks like when it's plugged into the USB cord. In other words, charging up at the same time running off, I think, gets the full 5 volts. And you can see already the video is much clearer. You can hear the engines running there, and the signal doesn't noticeably degrade, which is great. So we want to do that. What I've worked on adding to this then, that gets pretty quick, is a step-up converter, which I'll uh, try and detail my hacker setup here. So I've uh, implemented it, and I'm going to uh, give it a try. It has a potentiometer on it, which lets me adjust the voltage that goes to the camera and transmitter for the wireless signal so you can see here it is working and this is at 5 volts and you see me just before I tap the camera to show you that it's uh, very obviously uh, barely held there pretty good the next step for this is to mount it in a proper way, in other words so the uh, little green board isn't in the way of one of the propellers which will let it fly properly. This might mean some longer cables. Not much else to say for really though, it's been an interesting project, I'll uh, have a link in the description if you'd like to see my work log for the actual parts I've been using and process and bits I've been failing and getting right. and. Yeah, well, that's it for now. 